All right, guys. Um, <laughs> this is T Carp. We just got a uh, a letter in the mail. Um, we're both not we're both uh, political people, but we're not like humongous political people. But uh, this kind of chapped our rear ends. Uh, my wife got this and started reading this, and uh, I wanted to uh, to have her fill in her commentary on this letter we just uh, received, if you don't mind, sweetie. Well, this is the city of Maryville's second attempt to reach their hands deeper into our pockets. The first one was a will tax this summer that didn't pass because the people don't want it. They don't want to spend more money for the city of Maryville who has plenty of money. Not every kid needs an iPad in school. We don't need a multi-million dollar new school. We don't need the things that they're wanting to spend this money on. The letter says, Dear fellow citizens, on December 10th, Maryville voters will go to the polls to decide whether to approve a one-half cent increase in the local sales tax to make repairs and improve security in Maryville schools. If the sales tax is not approved, we are told the only alternative for funding these projects would be a 32 cent increase in our property taxes. Not actually the, making a budget. In the first paragraph, they use emotion. They try to tug at the reader's emotion for the whole safety and security in Maryville schools. And then in the next line, they threaten the Maryville people that if we don't pass this, they're going to raise our property taxes. It continues, As a business owner in Maryville, I'm strongly opposed to raising our property taxes. We do not need higher property taxes at the very time we are struggling to hold down costs and provide jobs. A 32 cent increase in property taxes would make it impossible for some Maryville businesses to compete with businesses in nearby communities. We would lose money and Maryville would lose revenue. Of course, there are other reasons to oppose a property tax. A property tax increase would hurt homeowners who live on a fixed income. In addition, it would be a reason for new companies and new jobs not to locate in Maryville. I'm certainly not a supporter of higher taxes but if we need to make our schools safer and fund repairs for things such as roofs and boilers, a half cent sales tax partly paid by people who don't live in Maryville is a much better choice than a property tax that hurts our businesses and senior citizens. When you go to the polls, I hope you will vote to support a half cent sales tax and help keep down property taxes in Maryville. Now, they play on a couple other things further down. They play with our emotions, talking about people on fixed income, talking about the safer schools, talking about two big costs that would be safety related for the schools, the roofs and the boilers. And also, they make an interesting comment here. The half cent sales tax increase partly paid by people who don't live in Maribel. What they're basically saying is, it's okay, Maribel residents, it's not just you. But my question is, do we not care about the surrounding communities and if they're on fixed income and they come shop in Maryville? My question is, what didn't Maryville just build a humongous new stadium or we have a brand new AstroTurf Jumbotron Sporting High School football field. And paid for by yours truly. And everybody else that lives in Maryville. We also have a multi-million dollar intermediate school that was just built down the road from us. Coulter Grove. It is bigger and nicer than some college campuses. For intermediate school. What would you have to say though to people who are like, well, we have to, uh, we have, I mean this is for our children. You know, what would you say to people that have this, oh, it's for the kids. We, I mean, you don't care about education if you don't uh, raise the sales tax. I went to Maryville High School, you and I both, and we didn't have all the things that they're proposing now. Our schools weren't as safe. Our equipment wasn't as good. We needed the same repairs, and we, we turned out just fine. Our education was the same. Everything is the same. The property tax and the, the sales tax increase does not affect the teacher's ability to teach in the classroom and for the student's ability to absorb what they are learning. 
We, it does uh, not change a thing. We have a uh, we have a teacher friend that we go to church with. Um, he is a fantastic teacher, and one of his big things is it, it doesn't really matter the equipment. It's what it was it how much pretty much effort you You're give. You're not in support of these taxes, whether it be a will tax, a property tax, a sales tax. Their hands, the government, local and national, have their hands as deep as they can go in our pockets, and I can show you my pay stub to prove it. My thing is, like you said, they have they take out so many taxes. And it's one of those things where it just compiles. It goes on and on and on. It's never going to stop. Exactly. They're always going to make an effort in order to get more of our money. We don't have kids. We don't use the schools. We just live in the city. If the parents of the kids in schools want to donate money or they want their taxes increased, by all means, be my guest. But we voted down the will tax. We're going to vote this down. And we're hopefully going to stop the property taxes. So that's what we think about it. We want to just educate you guys and let you all know. Thanks. This is Tick Harp signing out.